Okay, today we're going to learn a little bit more about downloading the .torrent file. Now you can do this on a number of any websites. Uh, there's BT Junkie, ISO Hunt, the Pirate Bay, uh, BT Junkie and the Pirate Bay are .org sites. Uh, I mean, the list is really extensive, so you can go anywhere. I use BT Junkie since I find it most convenient in telling you how many people appreciate it or think it's a good link and uh, how many people think it's bad, how many comments there are, seeds and peers, or sorry, seeds and leeches, and um, everything's really right there now. On its main page, it gives you a list of today's most popular torrents, and you know, you see like True Blood, new episode that came out two days ago, and some other things, games, people like, other shows, and down at the bottom there's a list of most popular overall. Uh, up top you can actually search for what you want, so you know, uh, if we think about it, you can really do anything in the search bar, and it more than likely will come up. So. If I put in this, here we go, YouTube, so it's a little bit late, uh, you can see, you know, the YouTube downloaders here, YouTube Get, software that you can get on download.com, I'm pretty sure, but it's here, this is just an example, you can basically show, get anything on these websites. If we're a little bit more specific and we want something that isn't exactly free, Microsoft Office, and here's a list of Microsoft Office 2008, which is usually Mac software, and Microsoft Office 2007, which is PC software. And over there I'm showing you it has the list of people accepted it, and now it's like really high in comments. If you keep going, it's got the size of the torrent and the seed to leech ratio. It uh, says that in actual numbers. Now, if we wanted to see if, you know, we have our favorite channel, HBO, we search that, and we have a list of all of these HBO shows and specials, you know, and these are ordered um, from highest seeds. And you can change the order just by clicking the top category. This website is really nice. You can also do a browse if you're not too sure what you want to do. So if I browse for games, there's a list of games from the most seated to the least seated. And, you know, pretty extensive list. Sims is usually high up here. Grand Theft Auto 4 is usually high up here. Um, good racing games are usually up here. So, I mean, and I'm showing you now, this is a free MMO that is... A always on top and it has a dot exe at the bottom that that's showing you what files are in there and I wouldn't really trust that because it's a two gig dot exe file so now you know we're gonna look at something else this is grid you know and it's it's a uh, telling you what you should do if you get lost and there's the 7Z, and if it says direct play and it's not a RAR file, then I wouldn't download it either. Direct play is a simple dump and play game. Uh, not too many are out there that are like that. Now let's try Dark Sector for the PC. And you see that the first one has a comment and says the game doesn't work at all. Now you look and there's CF5 or something random like that, and uh, it shouldn't work because it sounds like it's just a virus. So you do have to be careful. Here's a dot and ISO file. And that's a disk image. They're a lot m more trusted. They usually work. They usually uh don't give you malicious material. So now I'm going to demonstrate what will happen when you actually download the .torrent file. World of Goo is um, a quick, small game. So, so I click on it. 
click on the smaller one because uh, I think this would run more perfectly and uh, we just see you know people will leave some comments it's working it's good download it so I'll go back up to the top and there's a little arrow you click on the click on the little arrow and this comes up so do you want to open it with your turn yes now you have the option to download the exe or you could not which would be pointless and on the side we can look at here and there it is now it's prepping for downloading right now and it's now starting you have the percentage rate the speed you're downloading the speed you're uploading the estimated time of arrival and down at the bottom you can look at what peers you're on what servers you're on and you can actually choose there if you want to get rid of anybody as well so everything's about security I'm going to stop this now since I don't actually want this game and I can show you you can right click on it go open to the folder and see you know here's a lot of stuff and it's usually uh, just as easy as finding the torrent sometimes that can be hard well, that really concludes it. This is uh, Jason the Twelve signing off.